Oh, it's been wow. almost 30 years no, since wow. Morris Chestnut started yeah. in the groundbreaking movie Boys in the Hood. Well, now Morris has joined Fox's medical drama, The Resident. He's killing it on there, but Boys in the Hood. Welcome, yes. Morris. Thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for having me. I'm glad to be here. Thanks, thank you. brother. Hey, how many times do people come up to you? I'm just curious and yell, Ricky! Wow, you know, really only about probably once a day. <laughs> really? Because <Still laughs> yeah, yeah, no, the no, memes no. are funny. With Cuba, you see oh, the memes yeah, on yeah, social I've media? Seen the memes and, you know, me running, you know, one, I've seen the one with the Popeye's chicken. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Exactly. Matter of fact, the last person who said it before you, I saw um, Ice Cube's son last night. O'Shea? He, yeah, O'Shea. He said, he said, he said it? Yeah, he said it. Yeah, oh, yeah, that yeah. is. I don't realize yeah. it was that often. Wow, yeah, that's yeah, at least once a day. And when I years. think oh, about crazy, the movie crazy. 30 years ago, when you auditioned, you're the same age as John Singleton. What yes. do you remember about the audition? Oh, man. Yeah, you know what? It was, uh, it, man, just uh, that's very emotional because it was just at the time, you know, John, and I, I, I just never forget. When I auditioned for it, you know, he shook my hand, and at the end, when he shook my hand, he kind of held it and looked at me. I said, "Man, I think I got, a, I think I got a part in the movie," you know, and it was just. It was just, it was just great. It was just great. And I'll never forget just you know being a big fan of it. And then I love the scene too with um, Lawrence Fishburne when they're talking about the gentrification. Yes. It's so many, it's yes. So poignant, yeah. right? Still so, that film still holds up and still very relevant. Very much so. It's still a lot of very relevant themes in that movie that still stand today. Yeah. yeah. Morris, let's talk about. Something and then you look serious. the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that. I like that that shirt though. Uh, let's get serious. Yes. You're a red vine guy. I'm, I'm Come look, on, I'm man. Red vine. Look, so listen. See, you were cool up until that point. So, all right. So where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Yes. Red, red vine. So, so. Scott, get us a so, red vine. So, red vine. I can't. I can't believe anybody switches stuff on the East Coast because red vines. Every time I used to go to the movies I when I was young, for years, I would get popcorn and red, red vines. That it's is a, a West staple. Coast thing. I'm like an anomaly because most people on the West Coast do and, like red vines. Yeah. What's the difference yeah. between red vine and Twizzler in your mind? I, uh, uh, red vines taste better. Taste better. Yeah, one red is, vines taste better. One is garbage, one's a piece of art. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I look at it. <laughs> and Morris, I hope you're listening to the A Block. We were chatting. Yes. Women find men sexiest when they do chores. You've been I've married heard for a long that. time. I heard I that. I feel like you're a chore guy. Yes, you do. You know what? This is what I would say. This is what I would say. So. Like you said, your father called you to ask you to turn the TV, right? Right. I, every that time, move. I remember that move. And <laughs> My brother would do that. Every time I was mowing the lawn as a kid or taking out the trash, I said, man, I can't wait till I get older so I don't have to do this right. anymore. <laughs> right? Exactly. And then, but then there's some still stuff I still do. I still take out the trash. Yeah. I do laundry a little bit. But Are you a good folder? I, well... <laughs> That's I'm, a an okay you got, I'm, yeah. I'm an okay folder. Yeah, I'm yeah. an okay folder. I'm an okay folder. I gotta see your husband's folding I'm telling skills. you, I, he's really he good. I don't know why. <laughs> he just recently started doing the wash, and he's an incredible folder. We've been together 24 years, That's and I learned up. he's a great folder. He, we're probably going when he was in high school. He probably worked at a clothing store. There you go. Right? There you go. <laughs> that, now this is kind of cool. Your daughter Peggy yeah. just following yeah. uh, in your footsteps S right there, man. Somewhat. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah. You know what? It's um, she's young. And um, she's 21. She just turned 21, and okay. um, she doesn't listen to me. Uh -huh. um, you know, so it's hard. To, it's hard to you know tell her and give her advice because you tell her something, she does her own thing. But right. you know, I love her and I support everything she does. What about her dating? I'm looking at those pictures. How was that for you? Uh, it's not good at all. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not a good. No, she has a boyfriend now, and um, and I approve of him. He's a, he's a, he's a nice guy for now. <laughs> Um, you always have to watch it. You know, there's right. different stages yeah. of a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And it was tough. It's tough getting adjusted to things like that if, you know, someone comes over to the house. Sure. You know, as a guy, you know what their intentions yeah, yeah. are. Yeah, exactly. it's, just, it's really hard to deal with, but uh, at That's some you point. give them a look. Yeah, 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 oh yeah, you give me a look. And I'm, I was just real cold. It's like, yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. So, um, so, yeah, but, you know, you have to, have to. Let it be. You gotta yeah. let it be. Well, let's talk, let's talk about your new show. It's a yes. medical drama, yes. The Resident. Yes. Um, uh, uh, what's the premise, basically? Basically, it's a, it's a, hospital, a medical drama about a bunch of residents, and um, and it, one thing I love about the show is it ha it shows a true depiction of like not just the good that goes on in, in the medical field, but also the bad. And my character happens to be the bad that goes on. Yeah, Malcolm. Oh, Malcolm's great in the show. The, sh the show has a, a great cast. Love doing scenes with Malcolm and and uh, and the whole cast. And actually. is it true you're kind of a bad guy? Um, oh yeah, that's the, the sh I am the villain of the show, and the that thing about it is, you in that. 
Nobody is. Yeah. You know, this is the thing. So this is a crazy thing about it. So I'm used to people coming up and saying, hey, you know, I like your work and this, that, and the other. But you never know if they've seen anything. I said, you like my work? OK, what you seen? Well, you were in that movie with the cars. Oh, no, that was Tyrese. <laughs> they said, hey, I like your <laughs> hey, like work. I said, yeah, what movie you like? You know, the movie with Stella. Stella got, no, that's Tay Diggs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but this, with this Best one. Best Man Wedding, though, you were in that one. But with this one, they come up and they, I, I literally, I was in church on Sunday, and the woman says, hey, baby, I'm so glad you're in church, but you got to get out of the hospital because I don't like your doctor. You know what? Uh, you know, so I, know that, I know that the she wife is real. Call you, we call you Dr. Dollar. He's a bad guy, but he's just in for the money. I'm in right? for the money, you're not, that's you're it. Not okay. Justify. Right. That's, that's it. That's it. I know you're good. Congrats, man. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you, you very much for coming here. here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.